Who missed me? Who noticed I was gone? Um, the last six days I've been working for Instacart or with Instacart. Um, I was headed back from my hobbit hole a couple of weeks ago um, after fixing a pipe and I had heard on NPR that Instacart, which is a grocery delivering service, was going to be hiring 300,000 people across the nation. And so while I was at a rest stop, I just quickly signed up for it, kind of forgot about it. And then maybe seven to 10 days later, I got the debit card in the mail and an email saying that I was ready to shop and I had kind of forgot about it in that week. So stressed out because of everything that's happening with my Airbnbs and just massive amounts of cancellations and worried about my caretakers and my income and all of that. Anyways, I decided to do it. So I decided to do my first shop, even though those of you who know me know I do not know my way around the grocery store whatsoever. I don't shop for groceries. Um, and I still managed to make almost 1500 ish dollars in the last seven, eight days. That's go from going from a zero, maybe not zero, but like a 10% knowledge of the grocery store. So why I might not know my way around a grocery store, I am hella efficient. It's the thing that I miss the most about factory work. It's one of the things that I love most about building is being so efficient and fast and finding shortcuts. And I wanted to share them with you as well as share with you my referral link because especially if you live in a different place other than Boise, I want you to sign up. And if you're young and healthy and maybe you've lost your job or your income has been cut, like mine has with Airbnbs has almost gone to nothing, um, then this might be the thing to get you through. And also you can feel helpful in like, a really helpless situation. That's how I've been feeling. Like I can't even do anything. I get money if you sign up with my link and you do 60 orders within 30 days. I think I've done about 60, maybe a little bit more in um, the six, seven days that I did. Okay, so I get a bonus. I don't know what you guys get, but if you use my link and you do 60 orders in 30 days, I get a bonus. So use the link because that's just nice to help me out. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips because I want everybody to do so well and it's been like such a saving grace mentally for me and financially. So here we go with the tips. Okay, tips. My first tip is get to know one store super duper well. Um, that's gonna make you go a lot faster. So you'll look on your app, it'll say five batches available. Batches means orders. So sometimes there could be two orders within that batch. I typically do just a one order batch and it'll tell you how many items there is and how many units total. So if they bought, if they have 10 items, but they're all repeats, then say five and 10. They're usually bigger than that. Anyway, so you'll see that. Pick one, I recommend for your first couple days, just do the littlest orders you can just to get the hang of it and get to know the store layout. Okay, get yourself a gigantic bag. So my mom actually sewed me one, which is awesome, and it's the size of the cart. She actually sewed me two. One's the size of the cart and one's a little smaller that fits on the top area, but I put that underneath my cart. I put the big, huge one that takes up my whole bin. I put it, spread it out, and then I put all my items in there while I shop. Then when the cashier checks me out, they put everything in plastic bags, put the plastic bags back in that big tote, that way, when I go to deliver, if the house is you know, off the street a bit or if it's an apartment complex where I have to go multiple flights of stairs, I can just put these big bags on my shoulders and take one trip instead of having to make multiple trips with just holding all the sacks. Okay, so when I arrive, I try to park in the same area, like by the same carriage bin every time so that way I'm never looking for my car and there's always a bin close by to um, 
put that back. Don't waste your time looking for parking spots. Don't waste your time trying to get close because then you still have to go return your cart all the way to the store. So then I send the shopper a message within the app. So I click on the corner, send a message that I have um, in my notes. So I just copy and paste it. And it's just, I feel like I send you. And um, I'll post my message here, but make your own, make it personable, use emojis, um, but don't overuse them. A lot of the people, I would say, Okay, so I've sent that message, I'm getting out of my car, I'm looking at the list. It doesn't let you look at your list. It lets you preview it before you accept it, but after you accept it, you can't see that list anymore. And if you don't accept it, somebody else might accept it. So now that you've started, uh, I won't use that until we start bagging, um, but use whatever big bag you have or sell you one. It needs to be really heavy duty. Anyway, so I put that there, and then I look at the produce. Produce usually is first in your grocery store, Okay, so if there's seven things that are gonna need produce bags, I go and I rip off seven bags. Bing, 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 bing. And then I go and get those items. Now, it's, Instacart is gonna ask you, say there's two onions and you went and picked up the two onions, it's gonna say, okay, I found that two. Yep, that's how many I got. And then it's gonna ask you the weight. Now you might wanna weigh things the first couple days until you feel comfortable, but you don't have to weigh things. It is just a safeguard so that you get the right thing. Cause maybe they'll say, hey, that weight doesn't sound right for two onions. It actually should be this weight. Are you sure you got enough? That's basically what it's doing. But you don't have to worry about the customer is going to be charged correctly when you go through the checkout. So now I just bag all the fruits and vegetables, put them in my cart. And then when I'm waiting in line, cause the lines are long right now, I can go through and click all that and enter in weights while I'm waiting. So I bag everything and then I go on to the next thing. If you have deli meats, it's another one that you want to like when you're scrolling through your list, say, oh, yep, there's deli meats. You really want I can go through and click all that and enter in weights while I'm waiting. So I bag everything and then I go on to the next thing. If you have deli meats, it's another one that you want to like when you're scrolling through your list, say, oh, yep, there's deli meats. You really want because I don't grocery shop the first couple of deli meat things that where it actually needs to be sliced by the delicatessen. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, I was like actually looking for that brand of the ham in the meat section, not knowing that it was a sliced meat. So how you can usually figure that out is if it's asking for 0.25 pounds of this meat or um, yeah, uh, some fraction that it was a sliced meat. So how you can usually figure that out is if it's asking for 0.25 pounds of this meat or um, yeah, uh, some fraction, um, even if it says two pounds or whatever, then you know that, oh, that's a deli meat. Today I had a salami that I looked for forever and it was in that case. So um, if you can't find it, it might be one of those types of things. One of the things that Instagram gives you is this sweet lanyard, um, but it actually is handy. I like people to know, the, the workers and everything to know that I'm there doing this shopping so that they know that I might need help. Um, and I basically had my mom try to make me this phone um, holder, which is, she used four hair ties, connected them in the center, put a little um, ribbon up top for a bag, you need both of your hands, and if you had to put your phone in your pocket or back at the car, then that's just a pain. But this is too slippery so far. Today was my first time trying it, so I think I'm gonna put a piece of Velcro here. That will help speed things up. Another thing that I did not do soon enough is take off the face ID and the passcode on my phone while I'm working so that it doesn't constantly go to sleep. Also, I'm wearing a mask, my hair's up, I have gloves on when I'm shopping and so like the facial recognition doesn't work and so I was having to like put in my code every 30 seconds. So stupid. I finally got it off yesterday. A lot of your success is going to be how quickly you can make 
these decisions. So the app will say if, if something's not there, like let's say they want a 64 ounce of coffee creamer, but they don't have it in that brand or that size, then it'll say, you'll say not found, and then the app will say, well, try all of these things. And then you can sit there and scroll through them and try to find the one and then click on it and scan. But it's much quicker to just slide through all of those suggestions, two ounce, and I'll just grab two of those, say, it's not here, blah, 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 skip it, and then say, scan my own replacement, do that, put into, bam. That was a pretty crystal clear sub that you could do, but sometimes it's not that easy. So today I had a gluten, dairy-free bread mix that they wanted, like a flour bread mix. It wasn't in stock, but they did have biscuit, pancake, a bunch of other carby mixes uh, that weren't that. And so in that instance, I did message the guest and say, hey, do you want either of these things? You can also snap a picture. The customer isn't always going to be right there on their phone. So sometimes you're just going to have to make a judgment call. Um, I don't ask them if I can sub something out unless it is, you know, if they wanted uh, Easter dyeing kit that was cosmic and that's out, but there's a glitter one or whatever, then I can do that. Um, but you just have to be able to try to think, well, what was their intention here? This might be a harder thing. To if the lines are really long, I will have like a couple items, maybe the ice creams or something that I haven't picked up yet. I'll put my cart in line while I run and go get them, come back, put them back in my cart, and then go through and do all my vegetables and fruits orders and it'll have you review the changes that you made and then go to checkout go to checkout screenshot the barcode that the um checker needs sometimes if it's not an online pay which almost all of them are an online pay it'll have two screenshots so you might want to take a few days to get familiar before you go through all of that um but screenshot it and then you can do whatever else you want on your phone and you don't have to worry, the app crashes a lot. So if you haven't screenshotted that and then you get everything unloaded and you have to, hopefully your phone, the app reboots, it's a total pain. Okay, and then for checking out. So while you're waiting, you can organize your cart to how things would be bagged. So your dairy items, your cold items, your box items, your whatever, you can kind of be sorting that in your cart even if you're not up to the belt yet and off you go to your car. You're gonna take your big bags, put it into your trunk. That's also where it's saving you time versus all the little bags. And then return your cart. And once you're in your car, it's started, you have your seatbelt on, then you can press start delivery. Something that I forgot to mention. So my original message is asking for their birth date in case they got alcohol and asking them to send it. Everybody has sent it to me. There's a place where you can manually enter in that information. So if I'm at a stoplight, then I might enter it in or at their house, I'll enter in. But once I see that they've messaged me, and it's just like a text message, it comes up on the top a little bit. I just screenshot it so that I have their information, that birth date and expiration date in my photos on my phone instead of having to go back on the app when I'm at their house and scroll through our messages and try to find it and then remember it while I go to verify it anyway. So I just screenshot it that way. When I'm at their house, I can just plug it in really fast. Um, a couple customer service things about dropping off the groceries, which that's what most people or every person I've had this whole week has opted for. So um, I will knock in that case. If not, I don't wait around for them to come. I just want to give them a little heads up. You have ice cream melting and I came here. Um, and then I hop. I think that's about it for my tips. And then once you're like pulled out of the driveway or whatever, you can look at other orders or you can wait till you get to the grocery store and accept your next order then. Um, and it's very nice. Um, but you want to be sure you're wearing gloves, a mask, sanitizing as best you can in between things um, and keep everybody healthy. And as I go out tomorrow, if any other tips or things that I'm doing hit me that I forgot, I will continue to add them here.